Hi guys, today we're going to be installing a natural gas barbecue line and going from this to this. So let's get started. First things first is shutting off the gas supply to the residents. The shut off at the gas meter in the vertical position means that it's on and flowing and in the horizontal position it's off. Always ensure that the gas is in fact off before disconnecting any piping. I'm confirming with the pilot going out on this gas fireplace. Checking out a gas stove or water heater also works. Believe it or not, I'm going to make my disconnect and barbecue gas line tie in under this fireplace. It's extremely cramped so I apologize for my hands being in the way at times. I'm disconnecting the corrugated stainless steel gas tubing feeding the fireplace to add a T for my barbecue line. Your tie in will vary based on your current piping, gas line sizing, and proximity to a usable gas source. It is very important to properly size your gas line to ensure an adequate supply of gas pressure to each appliance. AC Service Tech has an excellent video on gas line sizing that I'll link to in the description below. Be sure to check out his channel for all your HVAC needs. I'm recutting the corrugated stainless steel piping to length to install my T and connecting everything together with gas approved Teflon tape. This particular brand is Ward Flex, but some other more common brands of corrugated stainless steel piping are track pipe and gas tight, each having their own proprietary fittings. These fittings I'm using are black malleable iron and are gas line approved. It is important not to use galvanized fittings as they might look the same but are not gas approved. Next I'm drilling a pilot hole to the outside then a hole large enough for a half inch black iron gas line to pass through. When passing a gas line through a wall, always tape and protect the end from debris entering the line. This is the last connection on the inside and a friendly reminder of why to wear gloves when working around sheet metal. Taped up the vapor barrier and secured the gas line, ready for the outside. This is now where most installs will be similar. The gas line is half inch and the quick disconnect I'll be using is 3 8 I'm using a half inch 91st to keep it tight to the wall, followed by a half inch shutoff, half inch to 3 8 reducing coupling, 
and a 3 8 barbecue quick disconnect. With everything now connected, the gas can now be turned back on. This device here is called a regulator. The older regulators have a manual reset to turn the gas back on by removing the cap and lightly pulling out on the plunger. You'll be able to hear and feel it reset. Newer regulators are reset automatically and don't need to be touched. Read the label on the regulator to confirm which one you have. With the gas back on, check for leaks at all your connections. I'm using a leak detector soap solution, looking for any bubbles growing or multiplying, indicating a leak. Confirming that there are no leaks, relight any appliances that have a standing pilot. In my case, it's a fireplace and a water heater. Next, I'm sealing up the termination with some exterior silicone and painting any exposed black iron fittings. It is code to paint any exterior black iron piping and fittings with a rust resistant paint. Most jurisdictions require it to be gray or yellow. To connect the barbecue hose, pull back on the quick disconnect sleeve and insert the hose. Release the sleeve and make sure the hose is secure. Before opening the gas valve, make sure the burners are in the off position and the lid is open. To light the barbecue, have the igniter going and turn the burner to the lighting position. Continue the igniter until the flame is present. If it takes longer than a few seconds, wait a couple of minutes and try again. If still no flame, check for gas supply and spark. The safest way to turn off your barbecue is first shutting off the gas valve, followed by the burners. This allows for the gas and the hose to be purged and an extra layer of protection if the burners are turned or left on by accident. Please remember that most jurisdictions require a licensed gas fitter to perform any gas related work. Be sure to check with your local codes and regulations. These videos are produced for educational purposes and natural or propane gas should always be respected. Well guys, thanks for watching and like always if this video helped you out, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.